J. Robert Oppenheimer, often referred to as the father of the atomic bomb, was born on April 22, 1904, in New York City. Let's take a closer look at his early life and education, which played a crucial role in shaping his future achievements. Oppenheimer came from a privileged background, with his father, Julius Oppenheimer, being a German-born Jewish textile importer, and his mother, Ella Friedman, hailing from a prominent American family. Growing up in a family that valued education and intellectual pursuits, young Oppenheimer was surrounded by an atmosphere of curiosity and knowledge. Oppenheimer's love for science began to take root during his early years. As a child, he exhibited a keen interest in various scientific subjects and was particularly captivated by chemistry. His insatiable curiosity led him to conduct home experiments often transforming the basement into his personal laboratory. Oppenheimer's parents recognized his exceptional intellectual abilities and encouraged his scientific pursuits by providing him with books, materials, and mentors. In 1911, at the age of seven, Oppenheimer became acquainted with the works of Albert Einstein, who would become one of his greatest inspirations. His fascination with Einstein's theories and the wonders of theoretical physics only grew stronger as he matured. Oppenheimer's inquisitive mind thirsted for knowledge, and he began devouring scientific literature outside the bounds of his formal education. Despite his passion for science, Oppenheimer also displayed a deep interest in humanities and languages. He developed a love for poetry and became a voracious reader, exploring a vast array of literary works. This multidimensional curiosity helped shape his overall intellectual development, instilling in him a well-rounded perspective that would prove invaluable in his future scientific endeavors. Oppenheimer attended the Ethical Culture School in New York City, where he excelled academically and demonstrated exceptional talent in both the sciences and humanities. His exceptional performance led to his acceptance into Harvard University in 1922, where he pursued a degree in chemistry. At Harvard, Oppenheimer's brilliance continued to shine, and he delved deeper into his scientific studies. During his time at Harvard, Oppenheimer was influenced by notable scientists such as Percy Bridgman and Roger Adams, who played significant roles in molding his scientific outlook. He embraced the emerging field of quantum mechanics, which further fueled his passion for theoretical physics. Oppenheimer's intellectual pursuits extended beyond the confines of the classroom as he engaged in stimulating discussions and collaborated on research projects with his peers. In 1925, Oppenheimer traveled to Cambridge, England, to conduct research at the University of Cambridge's renowned Cavendish Laboratory. This experience broadened his horizons and exposed him to leading physicists and cutting-edge scientific advancements. Interacting with luminaries such as Ernest Rutherford and Paul Dirac, Oppenheimer's scientific acumen flourished, solidifying his position as an emerging force in the world of physics. Upon returning to the United States, Oppenheimer completed his doctoral studies at the University of Göttingen in Germany under the guidance of renowned physicist Max Born. His doctoral thesis, titled On the Quantum Theory of Molecules, showcased his exceptional grasp of quantum mechanics and further solidified his scholarly reputation. To further expand his knowledge and collaborate with distinguished scientists, Oppenheimer spent a year conducting research at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech. There, he immersed himself in the emerging field of astrophysics and worked alongside notable physicists, including Paul Epstein, this period of intense scientific exploration helped Oppenheimer refine his research interests and paved the way for his future groundbreaking discoveries. As Oppenheimer's educational journey unfolded, it became evident that his insatiable curiosity and remarkable intellect would propel him to the forefront of scientific innovation. In the following chapters, we will delve deeper into his contributions to quantum mechanics, his influential role in World War II's Manhattan Project, and the complex ethical implications surrounding his work on the atomic bomb.